Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week seven of the PPL Bolt Division. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, Jack, you're not in the PPL, you're not in the Bolt Division, you're retired from Draft League, what's this all about? Um, you don't get involved in the PPL anymore. Jack's now in charge and it's way better than it ever was when you were in charge and Jack, you're completely washed. Well, to that, all I can say is I can't be washed because I was never good in the first place. While most of this is true, the opportunity came up for me to cover for Padel and the Glasgow Gliscors in the bolt division of the PPL. This was only to cover the last two weeks of games of the regular season. Unfortunately, we can't progress to the playoffs ourselves, but we can affect the standings for others, so we'll give this our best shot. On our team, we have Gliscor, Infernape, Ogapon Wellspring, Sizzle, Tyranitar, Houndstone, Espeon, which has the terror typings of Psychic, Fairy, and Fighting, Dragalgy, Inteleon, Ampharos, with the terror typings of Electric, Fairy, and Grass, Haryama, and Persian. Overall, this is a team with a lot of mons that I've never used before, such as Ogapon, Inteleon, and Houndstone. However, it does feature some familiar faces to me in the likes of Dragalgy, Scizor, and Infernape, who I have all used in draft leagues in the past. Moving on to this game, my opponent this week is JTXY, who is the coach of the Berkshire Bronzors, and is a newcomer to the format, with the PPL being his first draft league. Both teams are sitting currently at 1 5 with no playoff prospects, so this will be one for pride and honour. Jakey's team is terrifying on paper, with the draft consisting of Garchomp, Cinderace, Meowscarada, Cresselia, Amoongus, Milotic, Gengar, Gogoat with Terra Grass, Water, and Rock options, Vespaquen, Knucklestack, Appleton with Steel, Dragon and Water Terra options, and Florgis. Overall, there's a very clear split between bulk and offense in this team with Garchomp, Cinderace, and Meowscarada really standing out as absolutely terrifying offensive threats, with also the likes of Cresselia, Amoongus, and Milotic having the ability just to sit there, be fat, and be annoyed. For our team this week, we are bringing Inteleon, Ogapon, Houndstone, Gliscor, Dragalgy, and Sizzle. My opponent does have four grass types on their draft, so it might be risky bringing Inteleon. However, we do have Dragalgy and Sizzle, which quad resist grass, as well as Ogapon, which is neutral to grass. First of all, Inteleon, we do have Snipeshot Ice Beam U-Turn Vacuum Wave. We are running a Sniper Scope Lens set. Critical Snipeshot does a lot of damage to my opponent's entire draft allowing Ice Beam, U-Turn or Vacuum Wave then often to clean up what is left of my opponent's HP. Next up is Ogapon. We are running a pretty standard set of Horn Leech, Ivy Cudgel, U-Turn and Leech Seed. Obviously we are limited to what item we can bring because we are the Wellspring Forms. We are wearing the Wellspring Mask, which in itself is fantastic because it's almost essentially a life orb without any health recoil. Um, my opponent does have a Milotic, and in the six, this is definitely my best way of dealing with Milotic. Ivy Cudgel, again, my opponent does have four grass types. Ivy Cudgel can be resisted by a lot of them, which is why I have U-Turn. And Leech Seed might seem like an odd bring, considering the amount of grass types my opponent's draft. However, it does then really help with any kind of setup, Cresselia, uh, or setup in general on my opponent's team. There's a lot of bulk, um, and Leech Seed into U-Turn on a Cresselia will really allow my Scizor the freest of switches that I may want or need. Next is Houndstone. Now originally I did have this down as Choice Band, however I did change this to Spell Tag. Reason being is my opponent does decide to bring Citrus Berry, uh, Milotic, uh, for the last couple of games. Knowing that Poltergeist is my hardest hitting move, I did not want to be Choice Locked into Poltergeist when my opponent may not have an item on their Pokemon, which is why I swapped to Spell Tag. Now in hindsight whether or not this is really that beneficial or not I do not know, because Play Rough and Shadow Sneak probably won't do too much to a Milotic anyway, and obviously Spell Tag will not boost the damage of those. However, Handstone is there as like a late game cleanup and also one answer to Cresselia should my Scizor um, die to something else. Next we have the Gliscor, um, a pretty standard physically defensive set. My opponent does have a Garchomp, um, and it does have obviously the Cresselia like I've mentioned, which is why I've decided to bring Toxic on this thing, because it does really slow down the bulky mons but it also does really hinder the setup mons it like limits them to what they can do the time they have to actually get sweeping um a pretty standard uh, attacks otherwise we've got earthquake and u-turn u-turn for momentum protect um just to stall out that toxic a bit more but also allow myself to activate my toxic orb and regenerate health uh, at a much safer and quicker rate 
Next we have Trigalgy. Um It's kind of like my special defensive Mon, but it's also kind of got a lot of special attack investment. My opponent doesn't have any fairies um, or steel types, I believe from memory, uh, on their draft. So Drake and Mewtwo and Sludge Bomb are incredibly free. Um, we do have Flip Turn as well, just for some momentum again, because I feel if I maintain momentum in this game, I should have a pretty simple time, because I do feel I have a very good matchup in this game. And Haze is there just in case um, Cresselia starts to get out of hand. Anything above plus three, plus three, then Dragalgy will obviously die, but it's there just in case it's, it's another option. Finally on the team this week, we do have Lars the Scizor. Um, we are running Bullet Punch, Bug Bite, U-Turn, Sword Dance. Um, Scizor wins if Cinderace goes down at all throughout the battle. Um, but every time Cresselia comes into the field, Scizor is my answer. Um, it resists Moonblast, it resists Storm Power, it resists Ice Beam. It doesn't really have anything that it can hit me with. I can then freely either set up Sword Dance or predicting a switch, click U-Turn to maintain momentum. That's the six. Let me know what you think in the comments below and we'll move on into the battle. Right everyone, so this is the first draft league game in quite some time for myself. Um, so if I haven't already said in the introduction to the video, um, I have taken over for the Glasgow Gliscors um, and Coach Pinnell in the PPL. Bolt draft. Now, there's no hope of me getting into playoffs or anything like that, um, and there's only this game and next week's game um, to be played. I don't think either games have any real impact on playoffs. I know especially this game doesn't, so it's a bit fun. Um, and also, I think next week's might have some kind of impact um, in the actual running to the playoffs, so I am obviously trying my hardest, but... Um, this isn't my draft, so that's my John. Uh, it's also my first Wi-Fi game in a long, long time. Let me just try and get into um, quickly. Let him know that I'm searching for a game. Uh, yeah, it's not my draft. First Wi-Fi game in a while. Uh, been doing some showdown draft content recently um, in the PBA. Whether I'll actually decide to upload that as a video, I don't know yet. Um, definitely won't be on on the channel um, before this is if that is the case because that season's still ongoing um, so I won't, won't give you any spoilers there um, posing trainer can be found okay it might just be that we have to cut to um, when we actually do find a game successfully this is the first time I've tried to do this so um, if I haven't gone over the team already very quickly from memory um, we have got Inteleon which is scope lens let me just get my close showdown which is really useful um, we have got the uh, scope lens and teleon naturally outspeeds everything on my opponent's team other than meow scarada or scarfer so it's a really solid mon um, outside of my low tick my opponent doesn't really have a switch in to a snipe shot which is really nice because um, if i do land a crit snipe shot to meow scarada i think it does a minimum of 63 percent um, and I do have the Vacuum Wave to finish, uh, finish that off. Uh, I've got Ogre Pond Wellspring, so that's the water version of Ogre Pond. Um, just general free attacks, Leech Seed. Um, my opponent does have Meowskarada. I don't see them switching in Meowskarada to the Ogre Pond. My opponent doesn't really have a good answer for Ogre Pond. Again, it's probably most likely going to be the Cresselia, which will have Leech Seed on this thing. If it's a you know a set up Cresselia, I can at least leech seed U turn out straight into Sizzle. Um, spoilers, as you can see, Sizzle's already on the team. Uh, next, I actually have Houndstone on here. Now, Houndstone was originally choice banned, um, but I noticed watching my opponent's videos back, um, they actually they actually um, run Citrus Berry on their Milo Tick, which would be really good prep against Houndstone because it does get Poltergeist. And obviously if I hit my optic with Poltergeist, then um, not get into Citrus Berry range, I can't Poltergeist anymore. Um, whether or not well, that's necessary, we'll soon find out, because um, I've changed it to Spell Tag. Now I don't know, obviously, if Choice Band would not get into Citrus Berry or not, because I don't know what set he's going to bring. Um, but yeah, I've got four attacks, uh, Spell Tag, Houndstone now. Um, Shadow Sneak's got a real potential 
or late game cleanup, um, which could be really nice. Uh, we then got almost fully uh, physically defensive Bliskor with a bit of attack investment. Um, okay, we're finally found him this time, which is good. Uh, we then got Dragalgy, which is like kind of like a bulky, especially defensive one. And then we've also got um, Scizor, which is Swords Dance, because Scizor, as you can see, once the Cinderace goes down, Scizor has an absolute field day against this team. He has three things weak to Bug Bite, um, and then he has obviously got Monotic, which doesn't take a plus two Bug Bite very well at all, if it's not status. Um, and then Garchomp, I have to be careful of, because it will be probably Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, so I uh, need to be careful of that. So, Inteleon's incredibly free to lead with. Um, if they don't lead with Miascarada. If they lead Miascarada, then I'm in a bit of a pickle. And I don't really have a good switch in outside of my um, Dragalgy. So what I think I'm gonna probably do is lead Ogapon. Because I can Ivy Cudgel, um, any kind of Cinderace, and I can Leech Seed um, the Actually, no, I'm going to withdraw that. I'm going to actually lead Inteleon. Because I think it covers most leads well. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Because if he leads me Ascarada here, then I'm in a bad position. Um, but I think he probably would Flower Trick. If he sees it, uh, just chilling there. I don't know if he'd want to click Knock Off. If I lose my Toxic Orb on my Gliscor, then that is really bad. Um, so he actually leads Cinderace, which is fantastic. So... I lead Inteleon. I do a few turn on this. Um, I don't know if I really need to worry about clicking U-turn or if I can just click Snipe Shot, turn one here. Um, I didn't actually write down my opponent's team, which is really useful. Um, so I should probably write this down. Even though I know that um, I can just press this button. Cinderace, Go Goat, uh, Crest. Uh, Milo, Chomp, and Meow. Right, I am just going to click Snipe Shot then because I don't think he really has a good switch into this thing. He does withdraw, which is expected. Um, his switch into this is Luna, which is the Cresselia, which is fantastic. Now, if this crits, it does do a lot of damage. Okay, it doesn't crit. Um, so we're going to U-turn straight out of here and go straight into Sizzle, because Sizzle is like my answer to this thing. Um, I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm going to probably just click U-turn on the Sizzle here. He's probably going to go into Garchomp, if that is the case, but Sizzle is like my answer to this thing. Calm Mind really doesn't do a lot. Um, but I think U-turn's free, because I can then just go straight into my Houndstone, if he does. Um, if he does decide to click Moonlight, so I'm going to click U-turn here. I don't think he can really afford to stay in with this crest, but the chip on crest is fantastic because that then does open up my um, ogre upon a bit more. Scizor is such a problem for his team. Um, he didn't bring floor just though, so that's nice. But I get free switch into Sizzle pretty much any time he goes into Go Go, any time he goes into crest as well. But I don't. He's not going to want to stay in, is he? No. Okay, cool. So he goes into. What's he going to go into? B which is my low tech. Okay, cool. So that's a nice switch, and we now got a free switch into my... That did a lot of damage. That did a lot. I am out of a max attack. Um, but I can now just go straight into my Ogre Pond. And in terms of switch-ins, I'm not entirely sure what my opponent has for a switch-in here. Um, I could Horn Leech. I don't know if he's going to stay in. If he does stay in, I mean, I've got free. I can U-turn freely because I can go into um, Dragalgy if he does decide to stay in, which he does. So that's quite surprising. Um, does that knock him into Citrus? Okay, it does. So I can't Poltergeist this thing anymore. It's a really good switch in um, for my opponent now. So I'm going to go into Dragalgy, and then I think I can go and make the double back into um, make the double back into Ogre Pond on this thing. This Milo Tick is probably the hardest thing that's going to be for me to break down. It does actually Ice Beam, 
Um, that doesn't do too much damage. There's no freeze. Thank God. I thought that animation was going to be um, freeze. What does Trick Algae help with in this game? It really helps with Cinderace. Um, I could, I could Draco. Um, I'm going to click Draco because it's adaptability. Um, this doesn't kill. Can they freeze? Oh. Okay, so they, they freeze me, which is incredible. We get the first turn before though, so lucky and bad. Do I hit the Draco? I hit the Draco, so that's incredibly good. Um, that does so much damage. I think they're going to have to recover here. I'm going to hard switch into my Ogre Pond, just in case. Okay, so they don't switch. So if they click an Ice Beam here and they freeze me again, then I'm just going to be incredibly angry. Um, okay, they do click recover, which is fantastic. So I don't know what they're really going to go into if they switch out here. Um, they should be fearing. I'm going to click Leech Seed this time because I don't think they go into... Okay, they don't switch. They're going to click Ice Beam again, I guess. So Leech Seed and Horn Leech after an you know, Ice Beam move isn't going to do a lot. Um, I should probably get back to full. Don't freeze me again, though. So I think Horn Leech will kill this thing, which is great. Um, Horn Leech is incredibly free actually. Let's just click Horn Leech. Because Ogre Pond is such a core breaker to this guy's team. Um, I'm just looking at it now. Like, oh, he does switch. Okay. Where's he going into? He goes into Goat. Okay. So I think this is my chance to actually go into my. Well, I could go Sizzle. Oh, he saps it, of course. Okay, let's U turn out. I can go into Gliscor, um, and I can Toxic. He'll have... Will he have Horn Leech himself? Maybe. Um, I think my Sizzle should be faster than this thing as well. Um, but I don't actually know how much Sizzle will do to this. So let's go Sizzle, and let's go to... Um... Oh my god, that, is that a crit? That must be a crit. No. Um, okay, so... I see this as a safe play into... It could be Gliscor. Let's go, let's go into the score here um, to get my Toxic Orb off and then I can't be burnt by Fire Ball. Um, you could off, that's absolutely fine. So he is at plus two attack. Um, I can Toxic, I can U-turn, I can get into Sizzle. Um, I think I will click Toxic this turn. Um, I don't think this thing should be doing a lot to me. I am very bulky. So let's click Toxic here. And then I think I can U-turn out into Scizor after that. Oh, this guy is Terror. I forgot this man is a Terror. Um, what Terror does he have? He has Grass Water and Rock. And he has Terror Water. So actually, this thing is terrifying now. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Has he got Terror Blast? Um, okay, so Toxic. Um, we land the Toxic, which is good. So I can protect next turn to at least get... Uh, Milk drinks. Perfect. So, what are you going to do next turn? I don't think you have Terra Blast. You've got Milk Drink, Bulk Up. What else have you got? I think I EQ. That does very little. Any form reaches me. Okay. That doesn't do a lot, which is nice. I can protect this next turn. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll read that. If he bulk ups, then fine, so be it. Um, I do kind of wish I still had kept my Dragalgy a bit healthier, because um, I can't. I can't actually sap sip this thing yet. So let's protect. Actually, I can just sit here and protect and toxic stall this thing if I have to. Um, I don't really want to, but if I have to. Uh, he puts Bolt Cup, so that's a good read. That's a really good read on his behalf there, actually. Um, so Goat does Bolt Cup again. I can't let Sizzle get too unhealthy, because it's going to be too important late game. Um, so he is gonna, he's going to Horn Leech here. He's going to Horn Leech. 
So do I go into Sizzle? On the plus three, how much does that do? Let's try uh, Sizzle, go, go. Um, Horn Leech, plus three. You're not banded. Um, yeah, if you're max attack, the worst case scenario for Horn Leech is 27%. So I don't think you're going into. Uh, I don't think you're going to click Earthquake. If you do click Earthquake, then fair play. Um, it doesn't kill me. Unless he crits me. Um, but I don't know if I'll outspeed this go go either. Uh, how much HP do we think this go go has? So the thing is, Earthquake will now kill me. I think I can I can win this by swapping, basically, and toxic stalling this thing to death. Because it's starting to rack up big time now. Um, if he does click Earthquake here, then um, we're in a really good spot where I can just kind of stall this thing out. So we'll see what he does. Does he click Milk Drink? He, he probably will click Milk Drink. No, he clicks Earthquake. Okay, good, good, good. So, <clears throat> the Toxic's really gonna, really gonna, uh, you know, hit him. Now, will he try and Horn Leech here or will he try and Milk Drink? Because I could protect. He has to Horn Leech. Or does he Milk Drink? I'm gonna click Earthquake because, like, Horn Leech won't do too much. I think Earthquake and two times are toxic. He clicks Milk Drink. Okay, good. So now, is he gonna click it again? Uh, I mean, I can stall him. I can win the war stalling him out with Milk Drinks. Um, so he will lose that fight eventually. I think actually at this point, there's been so many toxic turns where he's now at the same amount of health he was before. If he did click Milk Drink, so do I click Protect? Uh, I'm going to click Protect in case he does click Milk Drink because it's just another bit of PP stalled off him, which is great. And he does. Okay, so that was a really good read. The Protect, he's going to go down to the Toxic now. Um, what does he have for Bliscor now? So actually, he has got. Uh, I guess he's got Monotic. Um, but I can freely go into my Ogre Pond. That's one really annoying thing. Ivy Cudgel and Horn Leech are incredibly free now. So, Blistor is our um, Go Goat with Toxic. He goes into Chomp. So, Chomp's annoying. I don't know what he can do to me with Chomp though, so I'm going to click Toxic. Uh, if he subs, then fuck me, I guess. But, um, like, he can sort of, yeah, he can sort of if he wants, but he can't do a lot. And I'll take the slow U-turn hit. Um, you could outrage here. So I could EQ, see what he wants to do, and then protect to get some health back. Um, this might be where I sack off my... Um... Let's protect, because I have Inteleon that can outspeed this thing and kill it in one, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, Let's just protect to get free temp toxic. He actually clicks SD again, which is mildly terrifying. But he can't be scarfed. He he loses to Inteleon, so I don't mind losing my um Dragology at this point. Dragology is my least important um least important one. So I'm gonna click that and sack it off. Um, and then once that comes in, uh, once that dies, I actually think my opponent really will struggle then to take a hit from Inteleon. This man's going to be six. That's overkill, bro. Just, just kill me. Just kill me, please. Um, but hey, it's a turn of toxic. I could. Does he click earthquake? Does he click outrage? Do I want to take that risk? Probably not. Um, let's just click haze in case this man gets really greedy. Um, he does outrage, so that's fine. I don't have a fairy on my team. I've kind of forgotten what my own six is. Um, but he's in outrage now, so he's locked in. So Inteleon can get a free a free kill with Ice Beam at this point. Um, so let's just go Inteleon. No reason to do anything else. Um, and after that, he could, he probably will go Miascarada, in which case I will go straight into Gliscor. Um, but I click Ice Beam here and Inteleon gets the kill. So that's looking good. Um, 
Let's say Intellion Vega Slash on Like a chomp with Ice Beam And then what was it? He got chomp Vega Drag with Yes, yeah, so there's Meowskarada So if I can get some chip on Meowskarada um, We're looking pretty good Let's go into this thing. I need to see how much this does because this is my answer for Cinderace as well. Like my defensive answer for Cinderace. He might he will flower trick here. Sizzle probably would have been a safer play. Yeah, so we'll see how much this does. I can protect um, to see how much you know, to get some health back. Oh, that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm actually free to cook U-turn here because I think I didn't get a free kill. I'm slower than this thing. He taunts. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, I wasn't protecting anyway. And actually, um, I know he's a grass type, isn't he? So, okay. So Sizzle um, can come in now. Pretty freely. And I think... I think... What's he got left? Yaskarada. He's got Cinderace left. So... Cinderace can't, unfortunately I can't win by getting this to plus two just yet. Um, he could knock here, but then he would lose his Miascarada and then he just loses to Inteleon. So I don't know if he'll do that. Um, he dies either way, so I'm just clicking, yeah, he clicks knock, that's fine. Um, I'm still in a very good position where I can deal with the Cresselia. So that thing dies, which is fantastic. Um, I can still Toxic with Cress, I can still um, just Bug Bite it, that will do a big chunk. Um, I can still crit it. <laughs> um, but actually, I think Goldfinger is the play. What's he got left? Hang on. So, um, Sizzle over. Uh, Sizzle kills. Um, meow with U turn. Okay, so he's got Cress, he's got Milotic, and he's got Cinderace left. So let's get rid of the Go Go there. Out of all of these, I don't think. Actually, yeah. Hmm. Let's go into Inteleon. I kind of want the Milotic to come back in. I don't want the Cinderace to come in. Actually, the Cinderace isn't an issue because I have got the Glyph Score. Um. So he goes into my Lotic, which is fine. Because I can U-turn and freely go into my uh, go into my Ogre Pond on this thing. He might click recover, uh, which isn't actually that'd be preferable because I don't want an ice beam freeze. Um, ice beam freeze is definitely how I lose the game here. Um, so, okay, you go to cover, that's fine. So I'm gonna click, do I click Leech Seed? Do I click Horn Leech? Um, is there a downside to me clicking Horn Leech? Not really, because um, Cinderace is only switching at this point. So I'm gonna click Horn Leech. Get some damage, that does so much damage, what the hell? Um, that's, that's good by me. Um, okay, you can size beam. Do, do not freeze me, do not freeze me, please. Thank you, right, no no freeze. Um, do I want Ivy Cudgel in case he switches out into Cinderace? Probably not, under the Corn Leech again. He does withdraw, that's interesting. I was not expecting that, but this, yeah, this is gonna put Cinderace in the, the range that I need it to be. This is all just to win now, with plus two. Um, I don't think a Pyro Ball will kill me here, but, I do need this thing for Milotic. No, I don't. I don't need it for Milotic anymore. I'm gonna click Ivy Cudgel. It does Pyro Ball. I don't think there's any world in which this kills me. Jesus Christ, that was too close. Okay, so this, this Cinderace goes down. I should have just gone into my uh, Gliscor. But if he goes Cress, I you turn into Scizor. And if he goes into Milotic, I Horn Leech. So, I think we've got the game. I think. Let's go and um, I'm gonna leech. Do I leech seed? 
I'm not Milotic. Milotic can't do anything. I'm going to go with Leech Seed. Because um, if he attacks me, then that's fantastic. Because then I do get the free switch into Scizor. Um, because I don't have the leftovers on Scissor anymore. He might be. He might click Moonlight here because I think that's his. That's his way out of this. He clicks Can't Mind. That works too. Um, I will be faster with Scissor. Um, he might click Moonblast next turn as well. Um, not Moonblast, sorry. He might click Moonlight next turn, um, which is absolutely fine by me. So let's click U-turn here. I still have Toxic on the score if I need it as well. Oh, the U-turn nearly kills. Jesus, was that a crit? Oh, oh my god. Okay, Scizor is definitely the play here. I think Scizor just wins by clicking Bug Bite over and over again now. Um, I think that should be it. I think that should be the game. We've only lost one Mon so far. Yeah, it could store power. That does nothing because I'm a Scizor. Leech Seed will kill this, potentially. Because um, he's Shell Bell. He's not Leftovers. If he was Leftovers, he might have lived. Um, but Bug Bite should be it. That Bug Bite should be enough. That should get the kill. Why is Crest Furry? I did not realise Crest was Furry. I thought it was a bird. I thought it was a duck. Um, so you sent that up you. That's the Mobitic. That's not living a Bug Bite from this range. Um, that should be the game, I think. I'll click Bug Bite there. Uh, so what got the kills? Hold upon. Oh, wait, he is faster. And he clicks Dragon Pulse. You gotta click Scald there. Um, yeah, and oh, I get the bug by crit, which doesn't matter at that point at all. But yeah, that's the game. That is what a Bibo victory, I think, um, over JKXY and the Berkshire Bronzors, I believe they're called. Um, again, the intro will have like a proper, um, proper, you know, all the information and stuff like that. Um, I'll put a proper visual of what my team is and what my opponent's draft is and my draft is. Um, but yeah, GG Jakey, um, thanks for the game, thanks for the really good first game back uh, into Wi-Fi, it's great to be here. Um, like I said, I do have one more um, game left in the Bolt season for when I cover for Padel, um, and that's against Jay Ricky, and I've forgotten what Jay Ricky's team name is, but that'll be next week's game. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, um, make sure you leave a comment on how you think the battle went, on any team prep questions or anything like that, then just hit me with them in the comments. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.